It is time for part two of my collection video. Last time I showed you the guns that I own the most of, and that are Sig Sauer's. Now we're gonna cover what is my favorite manufacturer, and that is Beretta. And this happens to be the manufacturer I own the second most guns from. I actually own 14 Berettas. I've got 12 I wanna show you here today, so let's get started. Okay, the first gun we will look at tonight is my only polymer Beretta, and I'm really not a big fan of polymer guns at all, but this is one of my favorite polymer guns, and I think it's probably one of the best carry polymer guns on the market, and that's my PX4 Storm. Now, this gun has been converted to a Type G. It's something you can do easily. That just means it is now decocker only. The safety pops back up once you decock the gun. I think that's far better for carry guns. Now this is the full size model, so it does hold 17 plus one rounds of nine millimeter. I have added night sights to this gun, but other than that, I haven't really done much else to it. Uh, this is just a wonderful carry gun. It's got a rotating barrel system, so it handles recoil very well. It's a very unique gun. Uh, I've done a video on this gun multiple times. I'll put a link up in the corner of my most recent video if you think this gun is something you might be interested in. Now to get us started off on my non-polymer Berettas, I'll show you my teeny tiniest Beretta, my Beretta 3032 Tomcat Inox. Like the name implies, Inox, it is stainless. So this is a little stainless steel, 32 ACP, double action, single action, semi-automatic pistol. This is an awesome little tiny Beretta. And the biggest feature about this Beretta that makes it unique is it has a tilt up barrel. So once you've loaded and inserted your magazine here, you don't have to rack the slide. You just tilt this barrel up, stick around in there, and click it down. So if you're someone that has trouble racking a slide, this might be a great little gun for you. And even if you're me, someone that has no problem racking a slide, you can still carry it. Because I like to carry it for deep concealment because it's small, it's pretty lightweight for a gun, and, you know, it's not a bad looking gun. I think it's a great looking gun. I think it's an interesting gun, so I really like it. Okay, the first 92 I'm going to show you here today from my Beretta collection is my Beretta M9. Now, a lot of people say, well, it's not technically a 92. Well, the M9 is just a 92 with a few changes to it for the military. It basically shares all the features of the Beretta 92, just some different sights and some other minor differences. They're real easy to look up the differences if you're curious. The one thing I like best about the 92s is the sights. They have more of a post and dot sight instead of a three dot sight, and I really like that. If and when I ever do carry a Beretta, this is usually the one I carry. This was the issue gun when I was in the military. This was the gun that I was issued. I really like this gun. Always have liked them even before that and like them even more after that. So this is one of the guns in my collection of Berettas that probably gets the most use because when I do carry a Beretta, this is the one. Next is my Beretta 92FS Brigadier. Like most 92 FS's, this holds 15 plus one rounds of nine millimeter. And the biggest difference between the regular Beretta 92 FS and the Brigadier is the slide. It's beefier. And as you can see, it has that little hump in the slide right there to give it a little more slide weight, a little more slide strength. And another big difference is it does have interchangeable front sights as well as rear sights. Okay, the next gun on the list is my Beretta 92 Compact L. Now this is an Italian made gun, which means it's gonna have more numbers on it, a sequentially numbered barrel, frame, etc., slide. So it does have a little bit more numbers on it, but a lot of people think the Italian made guns are better. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, I might do a video on that someday, but a lot of people think they're better. Now this is basically just a regular size Beretta shrunk down a tiny little bit, still maintains all the same lines and basically all the same features. The biggest difference is it's 13 plus one rounds of nine millimeter instead of 15 plus one rounds. If you like a Beretta 92, but you want something a little more compact for carry, this would be an awesome gun. Now the next gun on my list is probably the most striking of my Berettas. It is my Beretta 92 FS Inox. And Inox is just Italian basically for stainless steel. So this is a stainless steel model of the Beretta. Now the frame is still aluminum, but it does have that overall silver look to it. Now the thing I like about this is it does have all stainless steel controls. So it is a nice gun. There's no plastic in this one. Not a lot you need to change out once you get it. I did change the hammer out up here on it, but that's about the only change I actually did to this gun other than putting a D-spring in it. So this gun is pretty much like it was the day I bought it other than the hammer and the D-spring. All right, the next gun here is probably the oldest Beretta in my collection. This gun is over 20 years old. This is a Beretta 96 FS. It's basically just like a Beretta 92 FS, except it is 40 caliber. So instead of holding 15 plus one rounds of nine millimeter, it holds 12 plus one rounds of 40 Smith & Wesson. Like I say, this gun is a little bit older, so it's seen a little wear, but it's still in really great shape. 
but I've never gotten around to changing the grips on this one. I need to change the grips on it. So if Hogue or VZ Grips or someone out there is watching, you know, mama needs a new set of grips. So if you want to send me some, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Now, the next gun is my Beretta 92G Compact. This is from Wilson Combat. This is the second gun that Wilson did. I'll show you the first gun later, but this is the second gun Wilson Combat did as a collaboration with Beretta. This is very similar to a regular 92 Compact, but it's been refined. It's got extended mag release on it. It's got a lot of other different changes that Wilson Combat does to the guns. And plus, it is a Type G, so it is decocker only. The safety pops back up after you use it there. This is an awesome little gun. Now, the next Beretta I'll show here is my newest acquisition, which is a Beretta 96A1. This gun's just like the 92A1, except it's a 40 caliber version of the gun. People kept asking me, do you have a 96A1? Do you have a 96A1? Do you have a 96A1? And I didn't have one. So I sold a couple of polymer guns that I was selling anyway. And I bought this gun just the other day. Like I said, this is a 96. So this is basically just like a 92A1, except that instead of holding 15 plus one rounds of nine millimeter, this holds 12 plus one rounds of 40 Smith & Wesson. And this 96A1 is also an Italian made gun. So it does have the numbers on it. Now the next Beretta is my M9A3. This is Beretta's new answer to the modern day combat handgun. This was the gun they submitted to replace the M9 as the military handgun. Uh, the army did not accept it. The military did not accept it right off the bat. They wanna hold trials and they want something that's more modular. So this gun has gone to a commercial market instead of being a military gun. And I'm kinda glad it did cause this is an awesome gun. It's got a lot of differences between this and a standard gun, including the grip frame here is different. It's more like the Vertec. It's uh, got a interchangeable slide here that can be a Type G or a Type FS. There's just a lot of differences between this gun and a regular Beretta M9. The most noticeable difference being the baby poop collar here, but it does also hold more rounds than a standard M9. It has a 17 round magazine, so it's 17 plus one rounds of nine millimeter. If you want to see a more in-depth video on this gun, I have a video on that. I'll put a link up in the corner. Okay, and what we have next here comes pretty close to being my favorite Beretta and pretty close to being my favorite handgun period, but it just misses it. And that is my Wilson Combat Beretta 92A1 Brigadier Type G. This is the first commercial collaboration between Wilson Combat and Beretta. When I first saw this gun, I had to have it and I haven't regretted getting it. Wilson Combat did an amazing job with this gun. And since it is a Brigadier, you see it does have the little hump right here. Uh, capacity is just like any other Beretta. It's 15 plus one rounds of nine millimeter. And if you wanna see the major differences between this gun and a standard Beretta 92, just uh, look at the video I did on this gun earlier. I'll put a link in the corner up here. And finally here, we have what is probably my favorite handgun that I own and probably my favorite Beretta. It is my custom, Beretta 92A1 Compact. This gun is all custom. That's really the reason why it's my favorite because I had this gun modified from the ground up by Wilson Combat to be what I consider to be the perfect carry gun. Now, even though this gun's been heavily modified, it's still a Beretta 92A1 Compact. So it holds 13 plus one rounds of nine millimeter. If you wanna see the big differences between this gun, how this gun differs from a standard 92A1 Compact, well, I've got a video on that also. So I'll put a link up here in the corner. So there you have it. There is most of my Beretta collection minus the two that I do not have here to show you right now. For those of you that thought the Sig Sauers all looked the same in my last video, <laughs> I can imagine what you're going to think about these because most of these do look alike. They're just small differences. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention here, a lot of people said, how do you get them in that perfect rectangle by the end of the video? Well, this is not a perfect rectangle. It's actually more of a trapezoid. It just looks like a rectangle because of the sharp angle here of the camera. Not that anyone needs to know that, but just thought I'd add it. Uh, but there you go. There is a look at what I would consider probably my favorite handgun manufacturer and probably my favorite single handgun, the Beretta 92, definitely my favorite semi-automatic. Now in my next video, we will cover my favorite type of handgun, which is the revolver. And more specifically, we will be looking at all my guns from Smith & Wesson.